Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be working on vocal warm-ups. Okay, so let's dive right into it. If you're an actor, actress, whether it is for film or series, uh, theater, you need to make sure that your vocal cords are always warmed up. If you're more into physical theater, which is your contemporary dance, ballet, um, physical theater, telling stories with your body you need to make sure that your body is physically warmed up we'll start off with some vocal exercises just to get our vocal cords a little warmed up remember this is a safe and free non-judgmental environment where we can explore different characters have fun and just be ourselves okay so our first vocal warm-up we're gonna warm up our face <laughs> okay so Let's get into it. We'll start off with um, puckering our lips and just doing like horse blow kisses. <laughs> so we'll just do this and we'll just get into it. And just um, open your mouth as wide as you can and just stretch the facial muscles. Okay, so um, let's try some tongue twisters. <clears throat> How much dope can a dope dealer deal if a dope dealer does deal dope? So that's the first one. Um, I'll slow it down for you guys a little bit and then you can just take it one step at a time and go a little bit faster. Okay. How much can a dope dealer deal if a dope dealer does deal dope? Remember, it's all about articulation and enunciation projection. <laughs> I'll get into terminologies at a later stage, but let's try it. How much dope does a dope dealer deal if a dope dealer does deal dope? How much dope does a dope dealer deal if a dope dealer does deal dope? How much dope dope deal? <laughs> okay, it does get a little bit difficult. Um, the faster you try to say, it. like you, you're trying to focus on what you're trying to say, and your brain is trying to tell you something else. But um, the more you practice your tongue twisters, it will get a lot easier. How much dope does a dope dealer deal if a dope dealer does deal dope? How much dope does a dope dealer deal if a dope dealer does deal dope? How much dope does a dope dealer deal if a dope dealer does deal dope? Okay, so for our next tongue twister, we're gonna do red, red, <laughs> red lorry, yellow lorry. Okay, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> um, okay, let's try this again. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Okay. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Ah. Okay, these ones are a bit difficult. But... Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Uh. Okay. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> Um, it's just all about having fun, guys. Um, let's try another one. I'm not sure if I remember this tongue twister actually. Okay, she sells seashells on the seashore. The seashells that she sells are seashore shells. I'm sure. Like, please comment if I'm saying the tongue twister is wrong. Um, it's actually been a minute that I've done vocal warm-ups and I feel like that's why I constantly like slice like I don't get my words out there okay she sells she sell uh, she sells she shells on the seashore the seashore shells that she shells are seashore shells I'm sure she sells she she sells she she sells seashells on the seashore. The she ah. okay. She sells seashells on the seashore. 
the seashore shells that she sells are seashore shells, I'm sure. Please comment if I'm saying the tongue just is wrong. <laughs> Okay, so as an actor and a performer, it is very important to do your vocal warm-ups, your tongue twisters, so that it is easier for you to articulate, um, project your pitch, volume, all of that stuff. I'll get into terminology, like I said, a little bit later. But um, when it comes to vocal warm-ups, it is very important because... You don't want to be on stage if you're doing a theater performance and you like swallow your words like i i tend to do that like i don't finish my sentences completely um i don't okay when i'm speaking to friends or family i usually like swallow my words i don't finish what i'm trying to say like you hear the beginning and then you don't hear the end of the word so it is important especially if you're doing theater performances like you gotta project all the way to the back of the theater so that everyone can hear you but you're not necessarily screaming you're just projecting your voice to carry through to the back of um the audience so it's very important because you don't want to um, be on stage and you're speaking and you're either doing a monologue or you talking to someone and you swallow your words that way the person that you're speaking to or the audience don't necessarily hear what you're trying to say so um, I'll give you guys a monologue soon also um, but that's basically um, your vocal warm-up exercise just tongue twisters and work those facial muscles so that you can actually um, project and say your words without swallowing them. If you get what I'm saying. Um, but obviously I will go into more detail as time goes by and I post more YouTube videos. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the comments.